Mike, what are the qualities of your hockey club that will enable it to bounce back from a tough loss last night and move forward uh, well, immediately tomorrow night? Well, what we talked about here this morning is, is we stole a game from Vancouver with 10 minutes left or whatever, 11 minutes left. We were down to Cobb and we went to Stolt. And then uh, last night they did the same. And I mean, uh, if you go through it, we had tons of chances and regulations, scoring chance was uh, we probably won the majority of that game. And in the end, uh, they scored. So, uh, you know, it probably came out pretty even. The hockey gods got a way of getting you. You work hard every night, you get results. And when you cheat the system once, they get you back. How's that? Sort of following up from last night, you talked about how the team can be way better. Where do you see those opportunities for the seven first? Well, I just think we're way quicker and we're playing. We're way heavier and we're playing. And I think uh, that's got to come for sure. I don't think we've played uh, as good as we can in the last while. I think we can play better now. The other teams are trying too, and there's good teams. There's not much to pick between anybody. If you go through, I think our last three games have been in overtime. Is that correct? So that seems every night. And it doesn't matter if the team's on the bottom of the standings or the top of the standings. You know it's going to be a good game, and that's just the way our league is. And I think that's great for the league, to be honest with you. It doesn't make it easy from night to night. So uh, we got one game left before our break, and it's against Ottawa, and they're going to be hard, and we know it, and so we got to get prepared. You get those three overtime games. What for you goes into deciding you know, who starts in overtime, especially yeah. how quickly it can change? That's a great question. We, we talked about that today. I, I asked that same question of my staff today. Who should play in overtime and what order should they be in? So that's a real good question. So what I do is I watch the game, and who's ever playing good, I try to get them out there. And some guys are better in those situations because they skate better, and other guys aren't. And other guys uh, only think about one side of the puck and don't think about the other side of the puck. And so... Uh, so should you jam that guy out first and he scores and you don't have to worry about him coming back? I don't, you know, those are all great questions. So we asked them all just like you did. How do you decide on the pairings? Uh, I just tried to design a group that can score, you know, and, uh, you know, obviously last night it wasn't right. We didn't win. And so uh, I look at it, I look at guys that were working real hard in the game that maybe never got an opportunity there. Maybe I should have went with those guys. So, uh, you know, we have the same, it's just kind of like the shootout. Uh, we have the same discussions over and over again. We do the same with our lines. We do the same with our power play. We do the same with, uh, you know, who's playing less than other guys. You ask those questions over and over again. With the break coming, will you try to get the subtle message to keep the motor running throughout it uh, to your guys? Or? Well, uh, the first message we try to do is, is make sure everyone's got their trip organized today. Nick, if you don't have it done so that when the game's on tomorrow and you haven't left, you're focused on getting the points. We need the points, and, and it's a huge priority for us. The second thing is, is you know, as a young coach, I would have wanted them to take their skates to the Bahamas, find some ice and skate. The, uh, you and I both know that's not happening. So I think you pick the battles you can. Uh, our, we got a good sports science team. They'll give them information on how they can help themselves and go from there. And then uh, we got to get back and get going. But anytime you take time off and getting the motor running, getting skating again, is difficult. Is not as easy as you might think. The good thing about it is the teams you're playing when you come back off this break are teams that have been doing the same thing you have. Not sure what your plans are for Dermot for tomorrow, but if you're going to loan him to the Marlies maybe for the weekend, is he a bit? Yeah, that's a great question. I haven't even talked, I haven't thought about it, I haven't discussed it, don't know for sure. Uh, we'll figure out that lineup tomorrow. We just bought time here today, and then we'll figure it all out tomorrow. Just on Dermot, uh, when you look at his skill set, if he plays to his potential, what about his skill set, what, what does he add to this life? Well, uh, number one is uh, every time I came in here this summer, he was working like Hyman and Brown. So that separates you, and over time, that's going to separate you from the group. Second thing is he's got skill and he can skate. Uh, hasn't played with us a ton. Uh, the defensive side and the box outs and all those things that are harder. Uh, first goal last night, Felino got the net on him. Little things like that, uh, you get better as time goes on and with some experience and just practicing with our guys and being around. So uh, what can he evolve into? You're always hoping every guy you bring in here is going to play in your top four and going to play 22 minutes a night and be safe defensively and move the puck. That's what you're hoping for.